Caddis Maxis here. These I think are called the Gram. These are the Gram Stetzer Stetzerizers. These are basically they're power line filters, but they're more I guess capacitive based. They're kind of heavy, but we'll see what's inside them. I wouldn't have to be careful. They seem like a gimmicky product. They actually I did test them. They do work, but they're an overpriced and cheesy. Uh, option for reducing power line noise. Everything, cell phone chargers, TVs, all these things which have known as switching power supplies uh, turn on and off at a rapid rate, introduce a bunch of noise, you know, and even power lines pick up radio noise because they're big pieces of wire. That can somewhat reduce electronic reliability, but it actually tends to be heavy duty noise, like in industrial environments where big motors are turning on and off and having things plugged in the same circuits as welding machines and things like that. So these, the idea of these, you just plug them into a wall socket and it acts kind of like having uh, an EMI filter, a power filter, to everything that's plugged into the circuit. And they work to a degree, but they're 40 bucks, and it's just totally cheesy when you, you know, for like 60 bucks, you can get something like this, which is an Isobar Ultra, uh, which has heavy-duty noise suppression isobar because there's actually separate noise filters on each of these pairs of sockets then you actually get something that has essentially a similar effect be something that has heavy duty noise filtering as soon as you plug this in and turn it on it's providing the same effect on your power line as one of these and this is just something that plugs into a socket uses up a wall socket of course on their website they say oh you need to buy a whole bunch of them you need to buy four or eight of them at 40 bucks a piece and you know, on Amazon, there's a four pack for $155. And it's just like, come on now, get yourself something like an Isobar Ultra, and then you'll have the same effect. Plus, rather than just plugging into the power line, this actually provides surge protection, separate isolation on the outlets. And so you can plug in particularly noisy devices like USB chargers in one of these sockets, and it prevents the noise from getting into the power line, any power line noise from getting into any devices that you may like or may plug in here, medical devices, audio equipment, that type, um, scientific equipment or electronic test equipment, that type of stuff. So that's kind of my deal about this video is in the review is that these things quote unquote work, but they're just a waste of money uh, when you really should be getting once again, something like this. Anyway, conveniently they glue them together or ultrasonically weld them but uh, I have some tools here that I believe we can get it open with. With many of these glued together type of packages many times you, all you have to do is just crack the plastic so sometimes just just hitting it with a hammer a bit Whoop. can many times get it pretty close to coming apart. This thing is glued together pretty well. And that's all it took. And I was talking about being a capacitor. That's what it is. It's a motor capacitor. So since capacitors resist changes in voltage, by supplying current, the noise that is inherently variations in the voltages, the capacitors just help smooth it out. And that's what makes these so cheesy is you might as well, you know, get it once again, an isobar, which actually has inductors and surge protection, not just a motor capacitor that's charging $40 to put into a plastic case. The CBB61 and the really see motor capacitor, the CBB61 is a particular style found uh, a CBB 61 here, eight dollars and forty nine cents. But that same capacitor, sold individually in a stetzalizer, is fifty eight dollars. That's why I think it's a, uh, just a complete baloney product. So that's my review of the Graham stetzalizer. It literally is just a motor capacitor that you're plugging in your wall that they're charging outrageous amounts of money for. It's not exactly a snake oil product. It's just one of those things where you can take something where they're probably paying 
I mean, who knows? Two, three, four, five dollars a a piece. Cost of manufacture this is probably eight dollars. You know, less than ten bucks total, and they are selling them for outrageous amounts of money. And they don't offer anything. For, you know, basically nothing for surge protection. No inductors for high frequency noise. It's really just totally cheese ball. And so, just wanted to make a video about it. Anyway, thanks for watching.